All right, Reefers, I'm sitting here with Carlos from Coral View. Hey, Thank you, you so much for having me. Thank uh, you for having I just me. was really excited to be able to talk a little bit about the Hydros launch. So this is one of your brand new products that has just been released. This is something that I honestly think is a very cool stepping stone for a lot of people to get into controllers. I want you to kind of open it up and talk a little bit about how the launch came about and how you guys ended up creating this little controller system and new addition to the Hydros line. Well, thank you for having me. Of course. It's a lot of fun here. Technically what we did is we had the control, we've had the, the Hydros for a long time. And one of the feedbacks that we were getting from customers, from store owners, from customers was, where do I start? That was the question. And, and you know, let's be honest, when, on, when we're at trade shows, we had all the displays and we had the controllers. And while some people understood it, they thought it was great. Some other people thought that it was a little overwhelming. And, you know, with Hydros, the, the number one goal we've had always is to listen to the customer. And based on the devices that we've released, it's, it's just requests from multiple customers for a lot of customers. So the launch was like, how do we come up with a product where I can just look at it and intuitively kind of figure out what it does. And with the X4, you know, you can see the sense boards, you can see the pH probe, but then you don't have any AC outlets. And, the, and the, there's that question in the back of your mind, your head is like, okay, I can see that, but how do I do outlets? How do I do my heater? Where do I turn it on? How do I do that? And then there's, okay, you got to buy this extra. And we just didn't feel like, you know, that, that we need to have something a little bit simpler. And the launch was just developed that. We wanted something that the end user could look at and say, okay, this is something that I can see, but also the store owner, because the store owner is also, it's our connection between us and the end users. We're distributors. We don't deal with the end user that much. So we wanted the store owner to be able to talk about the controller, but also we understand that they're super busy they're running a business, right. so they can't spend all this time getting training for a controller. So we wanted something that they could that they could look at and say, okay, yeah, here is something, and without just at a glance, I can tell you, okay, this are you know, this are sensors, and here's the AC outlets. You can turn your heater and everything. So it was just a matter of making that communication between the end user, the store owner, and ourselves a little bit simpler and less dependent on us to explain to you how something works. I think you're hitting it right on the nail. I think sometimes people will look at these controllers, right? And they'll think, you know, these are kind of intimidating, right? There's so many different ports and things going on. And I think simplifying it and making it something more streamlined was a perfect way to go. When you look at the launch, what are some of the accessories that you would really want to pinpoint and kind of steer people towards to try out when they're starting out with the launch? I think one of the biggest things is the AC ports, the AC outlets. I mean, that's where your heater, your skimmer, your return pump. And I was talking to you early off, off camera. It's like, if you want to, you can expand. You right. can get another Wi-Fi strip or you can get another XP8 and the sense ports. We are incredibly proud about the sense ports, the green ports in this case, because they're universal. And that's the one thing that we wanted when we started Hydros is we don't want people to buy, if they want something, we don't want them to buy a special module for that. We, we say it's almost like a universal remote controller. You, you tell the controller what it does, you tell the controller what TV is, what brand, and how to control it. Same thing with us. You connect the sensor in there, and then you go to the app and tell it what it is. So you're free. To, today, I need a water sensor. Tomorrow, I may need a flow sensor. I shouldn't have to get pick another, and choose. Pick right. and choose. I, can, I, I should be able to just pick and choose from this, from this list of available sensors and go from there. So that's the one thing. And the one thing that we, we pushed the envelope a little bit because it's not beginner friendly in terms of what beginners need at first, but we thought that it would be important to put that conductivity salinity probe in there. While most newbies don't go there, we also thought that we didn't want to leave the experts behind. And while this may seem like a newbie product, it is actually pretty packed with things that you need. I mean, you're you're a hobbyist. I was gonna say, when I look at this, I would not say, it, it, it's, it's for a broad range, right? Yes. I mean, beginners all the way to experts. And, you know, I, I would like to point out the salinity probe and the pH probe are one of my favorite additions because, you know, being able to monitor your parameters, obviously there's a wide range of parameters we're looking at, right, yes. in our reef tanks. But I think pH, right, that's one really important one. But I think salinity is kind of hitting it right on the nail. And that's one I think that's super important. The fact you can add one into this system is 
really nice. Now let's talk a little bit about some of the drive ports. You guys have some more accessories and hydros that you guys can add on to this. So we're talking about ETO pumps, things like that. Let's talk about some of the accessories we could have. So the reason, the reason behind the drive ports is that I technically, as a hobbyist, the one thing that we run out of really quick is AC outlets. Right. You, we have so many power they strips. They go quick. And they go quick. And sometimes it's like your, your, my wife, the significant other, they look down and say, they started getting a little scared. I'm like, okay. <laughs> the rat's nest. Yeah, right? the rat's nest. And, uh, <laughs> so I was thinking, it's like, why, or we were thinking is, why should we make somebody use up an entire AC outlet for a small 12 volt device? Something that is simple, that could be driven by by a drive board instead of sacrificing, you know, taking away, I'm not gonna run a small pump on an AC outlet. That means one less heater, one less skimmer, one less return pump that I can do. So the AC outlets were that. It's, a tw it's just a 12 volt port that will drive small ATO pumps. We also have small, for the nano tanks, we have little skimmers. And all those skimmers run on a small 12 volt port. So technically you can run a skimmer from the drive board. We also have dosing pumps. We have the 40 millimeter, 40, 40 milliliter per minute, sorry, dosing pump that runs up the dry port. Again, we're trying to get this, the small stuff to, to move away from the AC outlets. So you have those AC outlets for the important thing, which makes it, even though people think that it only has four AC outlets, once you add the dry ports that take away the small stuff, this controller actually can handle a bigger system that it would otherwise look like it doesn't. And the nice thing about this controller series as well is that you can do it on freshwater or saltwater. Obviously we focus strictly on saltwater here, right? I'm not bashing on any freshwater no. people at home, but I think, you know, the fact that it has that ability and wide of a range to be able to do both those things. Something you touched upon that I think is really important for a lot of people listening at home is that, you know, you being one of the main people involved in creating these products are a hobbyist at heart, right? Yes. I think that's super important because if you sometimes take things away from the hobby and you focus on much more of a business side, obviously that's part of it, right? Mm -hmm. But if you step away from too much of feeling like a hobbyist, you kind of get away from being in touch with it. And I, I love yes. that about Hydros. Our main engineer, our, our head engineer, he's a hobbyist. The, the, he is a hobbyist and, and that's the thing. I get to talk to him every day and we talk and we think and Dave, the owner of the company, the three of us are constantly looking at it. But the great thing about it is the three of us are hobbyists at heart and we've been hobbyists for 25, 30 years. So it, we, we've seen things and we kind of know how to, things work. We also know what people have been asking for and that's been one of the primary things about the Hydros is, is, is concentrating on things that people have been asking for a long time and let's just make it that way. You know how they say if you don't, if, it's like sometimes it's like you got to do it yourself. Right. So Dave, you know, and Coral, is like, let's just do a controller ourselves. And that, that was kind of like the impetus of Hydros is to make something simple, keep it simple, don't make it too hard programming and, and all that. I think a lot of the old controllers, they have come and gone, they've fallen into that trap of making it very advanced. And what we wanted to do is, we wanted to make something that is simple, something that we call, we call the 80-20, the 80-20. It's like we wanted something that the 80% is happy to use, but but the 20% also can use. So we have another port we wanted to actually mention right here. It's the four channel. It's the one to 10 volt port. Let's talk a little bit about that and what's the importance of having one of these on the controller. So the, the zero to 10 volt port is versatile. Most of, in the hobby for years and years, we've been dealing with zero to 10 volt, but it's been an out port, which means that think of it as a, if you think of it as a soundboard, you're a sound engineer, you had a soundboard and you have a, a volume control here. And that zero to 10, that's what it is. I, I increase the volume to 10% and that means everything in here, all the lights, all the pumps run at 100%. If I bring it down to five, everything comes down to 50%. So it's just a, it's a, it's a, what we call an analog volume control. But what hasn't been really used in the hobby is the zero to 10 volt in, which means that I can do things, I can send certain signals to the controller to trigger certain things. So if I grab a controller and I send there, and if I send one volt, then it will do one thing. If I send two volts, it'll do a different thing. It's almost like a, like a flip switch that I have multiple switches right, and right. they all go to this port and then the controller, based on which switch I flip, the controller does something. So the, the, the main thought 
on the launch was how can we make it simple? And this is where we came in. I have my wife is, I love my wife, but let's be honest, my, my wife, the hobby is just not hers. She has other hobbies and everything. So how do I make it easy that my wife can feed the tank when I'm traveling? And I did not want to give my wife access to the app because let's be honest, I've done it. I have fat fingers and I touch something and I, and I do something. And, and the last thing I wanna do is stress out my wife and say, I did something and then then uh, I'm in the receiving end and I don't want to do that. So I I figure it's like, you know what? As you're 10 volt in, there are aftermarket little switch boxes, button boxes that you connect in there. And what you do is you configure the controller, super easy. So the versatility of, of having that button box where I don't, I have my, my hands are wet. I want to be able to just press a button without having to fumble the phone out while I'm fragging a coral, I'm trying to turn the lights on <laughs> and it's wet, which means that doesn't work. It's just too hard. So I have, you can install a button box that allows you to easily send commands to the controller that you have pre-configured pre and execute them. Yeah, I think, you know, making things a little bit more simple for people, you know, the coding, I think, on some of the other controllers on the market can be a little intimidating, oh, yeah. can be a little tough. But I think with the Hydros, you know, the app you guys have, fantastic app. I think overall, it's really kind of heading in the right direction of bringing in all kinds of different people to controllers. And obviously, controllers are taking over the game, right? I yes. mean, they're becoming much more prevalent. Like you said, you've been reefing for a long time, been a hobbyist for a long time. I've been doing it for 20 years. I, you know, didn't see controllers right off the start, mm -hmm. but now I see them all the time. They're almost on every single system at this point. Yes, yes, they are. And you have to, because at the end of the day, you, you I want to enjoy the tank. Right. And, and while, you know, I say that for gearheads, you know, <laughs> yeah. a gearhead will spend all the time in the garage working and that's, that's their, it's it's calming for me yeah cleaning the skimmer is great but there's certain things that i just don't want to be doing on a daily basis and that's where the controller comes in and having something this simple and this affordable uh, that means that i can actually put it in my tank or i could put it on my daughter's tank or i could put it somewhere else i I don't, I'm not locked into one system and I can reuse it afterwards. It, you know, if, if you grow out of this one or you decide that, okay, you know what, I'm, I'm adding more modules and at the point where you're adding modules and this one becomes redundant, I don't have to just put her in a closet. I can just grab that one and put her in my frag tank or I can put her on the, on my daughter's tank. It, it's just the versatility of recycling things. They, it doesn't have to be a one time use and then throw away. Well, I want to say thank you so much for stopping by talking about the launch with me. This is a really exciting product. Obviously, you guys keep bringing out more and more, so I'm constantly making new videos for you guys. So it's been really fun to see the development just over the past couple months, really. I mean, just from since I've been here at Top Shelf till now, I've seen almost three or four new products that have yes. hit the market at this point. So really exciting. I know you guys have the Maven as well that's been talked about and talk, you know, I think that'd be also a great addition for somebody that's picking up a launch. I think a Maven might be the great tie-in where they can yes. really get all of the parameters checked and kind of, you know, be able to tie it all into one yeah. system. And, you know, I wanted to emphasize on this. It's any controller that we have, all the controllers we have, they're, they work as individuals. So if you buy the launch, then it'll work as a launch. If you buy the Maven, you don't have to get an X4. You don't have to get the launch. The Maven can work by itself. Let's say you're at the point where you're thinking about, you, you're, you use another controller and you're thinking about switching, but you know, it's, it's, na it's human nature. Maybe I don't trust you yet. So then the Maven would be just a monitor only. You don't have to buy a controller in order for the Maven to work. Right, I think that's a great thing to have. You know, there's obviously other testers on the market and it's really exciting seeing that you guys are gonna put one out as well. I can't wait to see it. You know, I'm really excited to see it come out of testing and get on production and it's yes. gonna be a lot of fun. But oh, you, you, Carlos, you guys get thank you so much for coming by and stopping in. If you guys are looking to pick up one of the launches, be sure to head over to our website now and check it out and snag one up. If you guys have hung out all the way till the end, I wanna say thank you so much. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any future uploads.